are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. Well, it's only a movie, and a great movie at that. But now, for the first time, astronomers have found a nearby planet where we're told that it's possible that life could survive. They're calling it the Goldilocks planet, where it's not too hot, not too cold, just right for life conditions. Michio Kaku is a theoretical physics professor and host of the Science Channel series Sci-Fi Science. Good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Mm -hmm. um, so when we talk about life, <coughs> what kind of life are we talking about? Are we talking about those avatars that we saw in the movie clip or, or what? Well, E.T. is not going to phone home anytime soon. <laughs> However, we hit the jackpot on this one. Out of 500 planets that we discover orbiting other stars, this is the first, the first to potentially have liquid oceans, perhaps even fish, perhaps even life forms like we find on the Earth. We don't know for sure. But now this is the holy grail of astronomy, finding an Earth-like twin. Because where there's water, there's usually life. The detectives say, follow the money. We scientists say, follow the water, liquid water, liquid oceans, because that's where life and DNA first got off the ground. So if this planet has a liquid ocean, chances are it has at least microbial life and who knows, maybe beyond that, intelligent creatures. I mean, how do we know this? This is, I, I was reading, you know, that even though this is right next to our solar system, hop, it would skip and a jump. A hop, skip and <laughs> it would take generations to get out there. So what is the technology that allows us to know that water exists on this planet, which I should say and tell everybody is called Gliese 581G? Well, what we do is we look for the wobbling of the mother star. Because if you have a star system, the planet is invisible, you can't see it, but the star itself wobbles. And we can calculate the wobbling very precisely. So we know the orbit of this planet, and <clears throat> it's not too close where water would turn to steam. It's not too far when water would turn to ice but it's just right to have liquid water, the universal solvent, the amniotic fluid of life. You know, we learned recently about private industry getting involved in the space tourism business. Mm -hmm. Do you imagine a day sometime soon when somebody is able to build a rocket to take Americans, take the average people up to, to go visit planets like this? Well, we can't jump the gun on this one. Uh, our space probes travel so slow, it would take thousands of years to reach the nearby stars. And this one is 20 light years away, five times the distance to the nearby stars. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. Sorry about that. Shucks. <laughs> I was ready to book my, my flights. <laughs> uh, well, it's a fascinating story. And Gliese 581G, the name of this plan, they've got to come up with something a little catchier than that. They do. They? They, they need a PR person. Yeah, right? come on. Someone from Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get right on that. Michio Kaku, thank you so much. Wednesday nights on the Science Channel. Great.